Hello, this is Ali Rush again. I just want to make you think about something. Sort of like put a different spin on things. Uh, I want to talk to you and bring something to your mind concerning reconsideration and reconstruction. Basically, it concerns reconstruction and the end of history. Let me start with this question. I want to ask you, what actually happened to America when coronavirus is finally over? What happens to America when coronavirus is finally over? What will America look like? What will the economic situation be? Will America ever be America again? Not one of us has a guarantee that he or she will be left standing. What happens when hospitals are no longer equipped to accept any more patients? Is that another form of death or another way that people will die? Why are we experiencing this pandemic? Have you ever asked yourself that question? Was it man-made intentionally? Was it started because of world overcrowding? I mean, I just want, I just want you to think. I want you to think about... Uh, the situation we're in now and the situation we could be in later. What if it got so bad that people had to actually go underground to live? Who can say that it will not get that bad? Let me ask you another question. How often did you think about death before? What makes you think about it now? Is America slowly dying? Are we watching America die slowly? Then too, are you fearful? And if you are, what do you fear about this situation? I know death could be one of them, but, but, but think about the situation. What do you fear about this situation? I know we fear to shake someone's hand because they could be a carrier of this pandemic or the illness and it's easily spread. Do you fear to breathe the same air as someone else? Are you watching others carefully and nothing there and noticing rather their every move. Have you ever asked yourself if we will ever be the same after this? Nationally, have we learned reconciliation and reconsideration? We have our differences, but we do not allow our differences to control our destiny. Now we must learn to do this internationally. Let's live and let live. We can get along with Russia without wanting to do them harm. Same as with China or North Korea. Now, I'm not saying go lie down with them, but just because you're another country does not mean we can't help other countries in the world. From one blood made our all nations, God says. In a distant way, we have to realize a brother, and this is humanely speaking, can be of Chinese nationality or some other country. We are facing detriment here, not just America, but other countries as well. A man is only as low as he allows himself to stoop. 
Look down on a man only when you intend to pick him up. We are dealing in pandemonium from one end of God's green earth to the next. Instead of concealing the answer to a problem because it allows you the upper hand, why not lend a helping hand? When we dig a ditch one for another, how do we know that we will not fall in the ditch we dug? Hatred only hurts the one who carries it. Look to better things, better ways, and better times. I just wanted to bring that to your attention. Give you a little something to, to think about while we are locked up. God bless you. We'll talk at you some other game, if you'll excuse my English.